Right, here we go for another guitar lesson. Today we're going to be looking at Killing the Nanane, the classic track by Rage Against the Machine. Um, I'm not going to be covering the solo because I, to be quite honest with you, I haven't got a whammy pedal, so the solo will not be happening, but I will teach you all the other bits you need, like the verse with the chorus, and um, let's just go straight into it. So the first thing what you want to do is drop your low E string to a D, and what you're doing is, for the intro bit, is... <coughs> That's the intro, so that's three hits on the low E string. Then one hit on the uh, 11th fret of the D string, and one hit on the 12th fret of the D string. So Then one hit on the 11th fret of the G string, one hit on the 12th fret of the G string as well. So. Then the last time, the fourth time, what you do is instead of hitting this 11th fret here on the G string, you miss that out and you bend up the 12th fret on the G string and down. So, and I use my second finger to do that. Um, so that's the first part. That's the first part, and then you, what you do is you hit the low E string three times, then the sixth fret on the A string three times. So, and on the fourth time, you do that four times. But on the fourth time, what you do is you make an octave. You make here a D sharp octave. So what you're doing is your first finger on the um, sixth fret of the A string, first finger on the G string, add the eighth fret, muting out this D string in the middle. Okay, so okay, that's the last bit, and then we go into the main riff. The main riff, which I'm sure is basically why you're here to learn the main riff. I mean, that's part of most people just want to learn just the riff itself. So what you're doing is What you're doing is you're hitting the strings open, we're in drop D, so hit the strings open. Then hit the third fret on the A string, then hammer on to the fifth. Then you, what you do is you play your first, first finger on the third fret of the D string, and then hammer on to the fourth, fourth fret. So. Then you pick the using your third finger, pick the fifth fret of the A string. So then open strings again. Then bar the second fret. Any use your first finger and hammer on to the third with your second and then back to the second. So, then the strings open again, and then back into it. Okay, and the, basically what you do is you play that um, just open, and when you go into the, like the main verse riff, that's palm muted. So, that's palm muted. And then what you're doing is after that, you do this. Um, you hit the strings open again. Okay, and what you're doing is hitting the strings open again, first finger on the third fret of the A string, hammer on to the fifth, then play the ninth fret on the D string, same thing again, eighth fret on the D string, seventh fret on the D string. Then you're hitting this open, 
hammer on twice from the second to the third and back to the second so okay so and then at the end of that what you're hearing is a C5 okay Okay, and then you go into this like the kind of interlude bit, the scratchy bit, and what you're doing here is an octave, a D octave, first finger on the A string of the fifth fret, first finger on the G string of the seventh fret, muting out the D string here, and you're just playing that. So. scratchy noise what you're doing is you're just basically covering all all the strings with any all your fingers so okay so and at the end of that what you do is you slide this octave up to the 17th so Then we hit, um, blah, 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 then we hit. So that's, you're still playing the octave again. But you're going from third, barring the third fret, barring the fifth fret. Then first finger on the A string of the third fret. So. So I won't be covering the solo because I've got a whammy pedal, but um, we'll just carry on. So then the solo happens. Then you have this octave build up bit, this. Okay, and that's that. So that's just octaves again. So first finger on the A string of the fifth fret, third finger on the G string of the seventh fret octaves, just muting out this D string in the middle. You go from fifth to seventh to eighth to tenth to twelfth to thirteenth to fifteenth to seventeenth. Okay, so and it's played freely. There's no actual sort of um, strum or pick pattern for this. It's played quite freely. <laughs> Okay, and then what you do is you basically go back into the main riff, and then it ends. You there's also this. And what you're playing there is a D minor seven. So first finger on the fifth fret, of the A string. First finger, third finger on the D string of the seventh fret. And you're barring, you're barring, your first finger is barring down, so your first finger is also barring the G string at the fifth fret, and use your second finger for the sixth string on the, uh, sorry, sixth fret on the B string. <laughs> then you go back into this octave here, this D octave. Then you hit low E string three times, sixth. <laughs> Sixth fret on the A string three times. And that's Killing in the Name. I hope this has helped. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I hope this has made you, um, you know, have.
helps you learn how to play the wrist for killing in the name and have fun and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.